another stone placed in the building for by one spirit the bible says in the book of corinthians first corinthians 12 and verse 13 yeah for by one spirit by one spirit are we all baptized are we all baptized into one body so the holy ghost has to place you in the body in the church in the bride that's right you can't put yourself in no it takes god to put you in Right. When you repent of your sins and are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue like they obtained it on the day of Pentecost, that's a lively stone added to God's building, God's church. That's right. Now the plumb line, hear me good, is in God's hand. Thus he showed me and behold. And behold. Back in Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Yes. Thus he showed me and behold the Lord stood upon the a wall. The Lord stood. Upon a wall. He, you know he stood upon the wall. Let you know he was watching over it. That's right. He was overseeing it. That's right. Amen. Making sure it goes right. Not only was he overseeing it. He uh, make sure it go right. So he decided to build it himself. That's right. Amen. God don't trust no man, yeah, man, to build his church. No way. Are you listening, viewers? That's right. Even though he came in the flesh, made men apostles, men is not building God's church. No. Men have to work with the Lord. That's the it. Bible said we are labor together, together with, God. with God. And laboring together with God, man is not responsible That's right. for not one stone That's right. going in God's building. For, lab for we are labors together with God. This? In 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9. Tell you what? For we are labors together with God. With God. Ye are God's husband. Ye, ye, ye. you. Are God's husbandry. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. I told you this is not no bishop's church. That's right. Not my church, not your bishop's church. It never will be your bishop's church right. unless he started it. That's right. Thank God this is the church that no man started, no, no man built. Jesus established it himself. That's right. Listen at this. Ye are, ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. What is it? Back now in first Don't finish up Corinthians. Say where you at. Yes. First Corinthians chapter three. You are God's husband to you. are God's building. At verse 10. As a wise master builder. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me. What is it? As a wise master builder. What kind? A wise master builder. You know, God don't want no dumb builders. <laughs> That's right. You know, I have to meet with the city <laughs> so much. And them are some of the most dumb and dumbest inspectors I ever seen. That's right. You know, when I sit at the table with inspectors, you would expect the fact that they should be able to understand blueprints. That's right. But when the and how in the world is an inspector going to inspect my blueprints that they can't understand? My Lord. You're supposed to have knowledge of the blueprints. Yeah. You can't criticize my prints if you don't have knowledge of what prints are. Yeah. If you think prints are little cartoons, you need to get away from the table. <laughs> now, viewers, hear me good. The word of God is the blueprints for the church. That's right. This is why I am adamant. They keep the church just like Jesus kept it. That's right. Stay with the Bible. I don't care who I displease, who I make mad, who get angry, who say I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> That's right. I say to you like Jesus said. Uh, you know, uh, they gathered around Jesus, the apostles did, and amen, and he said, uh, eat my body and drank my blood on one occasion, then another occasion he said, uh, you're going to betray me. That's right. Yeah. You're going to leave. You're, gonna leave me. you're not going to stick around. No. Yeah, you know, diff one says on that matter, and one said on that matter, but even the hypocrite got involved. That's right. Lord. Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Yes, huh? That's right. Hey Amen. He wanted to blend in. <laughs> Lord. That's right. Is it I? Is it I? He knew it was him. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Thou sayest. Thou sayest. 
Whatever you do, do quickly. Do quickly. Do quickly. So when men try to tell me, Pastor Jennings, you got to stop preaching this, and it's in the Bible. Pastor Jennings, I'm leaving if you keep preaching this, and it's in the Bible. <laughs> a sister tells me, I don't care if she's a secretary for 400 years. A mother tells me, Pastor Jennings, I've been with you since the day you started. But even those in the Bible, if you don't change, I'm leaving. Me? Me? I say like Al Pacino, you talking to me? <laughs> Pastor Jennings, I'm leaving. Whatever, Whatever. you do. You quickly. Do how, church? Quickly. How you do it? Quickly. I've said before and I've said again. We're not changing. No. We're not moving. Oh, no. The Lord brought us this far. Okay. And we're going to stay with the Bible. Thank God so the Lord can take us further. That's right. I had many men come in and try to lay ultimatums to me. <laughs> Laying an ultimatum to me is like striking oil in your toilet. That's not going to happen. And you pull out 100 barrels of crude. <laughs> It'll never happen. It won't happen. It'll never happen. No, no. Pastor Jennings, I'm a good man. Yeah, you can't afford to lose me. I can't be replaced. Mm -hmm. You bigger than God then. That's right. Because when I read the Bible, everybody can be replaced. That's right. Am I right, sir? That's right. Moses died. Yeah. Joshua. Did you do, sir? Yes, he did. Come on, Joshua. Come on, Joshua. Rise up. Go on this journey. And Moses died, and the Lord buried him, but the journey kept going. That's right. God swung Joshua in with no problem at all. That's right. And God told Joshua one thing that was so encouraging. Yeah. As I was with Moses. So shall I be with you. Right then that let Joshua know I got your back. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I was with Moses. So shall I be with thee. So shall I be with you. That's right. Amen. So many men have laid ultimatums to me. Amen. And uh, I don't know what they thought they would approve or be successful in. But I'm a man who don't bow to nobody's ultimatum. No. Nobody. I can't be bought. Nope. By no price. That's right. Some folks say everybody got a price. If you do, speak for yourself. That's right. I am one man that don't have a price at all from nobody. Not at all. Because I was already born. That's right. Yeah. That's Bible right. say I was born with, with the price. price. With the price. And all of God's people, Jesus came and purchased us already. That's right. And we're not for sale. That's right. You know, that's a good feeling, you know. That's just so steadfast and so firm and so settled. Hallelujah. Thank God it's so grounded right. that nobody can offer you anything. I don't mean you won't get weak. I'd rather get weak than leave God. That's right. Yeah. Hey Amen. If I get weak, let me get weak and let me fall on my face and cry out to God to build me back up again. Amen. But I'm going to stay with God. Hallelujah. So uh, in the midst of weakness, the Bible said, let the weak say, say that I'm strong. That's it. All right, son, go back to the book of Psalms. Back in Psalms 127 and verse 1. All right. Except the Lord build the house. Hear me, viewers. Amen. Except the Lord build the house. Build the house. They labor in vain. That All build it. labor. Hear me well. In vain. It's in vain. In vain. All of it. That's right. Regardless of your position, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of the size house, That's right. the notoriety, all churches that was founded by men, That's right. labor in vain was in vain. Amen. All religions, hear me good, started by men, yeah. the labor in vain was in vain. Now, for the church, from the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Labor not to be in vain. Right. Nobody is allowed 
to lean to their own understanding. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's right. Yes. Nobody is allowed to lean to their own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. With all thine heart. You brothers get some brothers on the nurse's unit quick. We have a brother here. He may have a reaction from sugar. All right, come on, let's have it. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. What is it? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not. Lean not. Unto thine own understanding. To thine own understanding. Everybody just pay attention now. That's right. Not leaning to your own understanding. When you do that, yeah. you bring contamination in the church. That's right. And that's something you don't want to do. Yeah. To contaminate God's church, you contaminate God's wish up. That's right. Amen. So regardless of how you view things, that's why I don't want to view nothing opposite from the way God view it. That's right. And uh, when you view a thing from the way God view it, and people lean to their own understanding, look out, you've yeah. got to have an argument. Right. You've got to have a fight. Oh, yes. You've got to have a disagreement. You know, many men throw age in my face. I'm older than you. I don't care. God is older than you. <laughs> That's right. Do I care because you're older than me? God is older than you. That's right. Amen. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, nobody Amen. know how to build the church yeah. better than the ancient of days. Great men are not always wise. Listen at this. Now in the book of Job, chapter 32 and verse 9. All right, son. Great men are not always wise. Great men. You know, men brag of how many degrees they got, how long they went to school, what they went to school for. Right. Amen. I hear many men talk about different organizations, how well structured, how organized they are. Let me tell you this, viewers. There is no church organization under the sun can be more organized than the scriptures. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they say. I don't care how many followers they have. I don't care how much money they have. That's right. Nobody, okay. hear me, can be more organized no. when you're not organized by the scriptures. That's right. Because the greatest organizer is the Lord himself. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is this, son? Great men are not always wise. Great. Give chapter and verse again. Job chapter 32 and we're at Great verse 9. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age. Neither do the age. Understand judgment. And that's the problem. Hmm. Many men and women is relying on the age. Their age. And say, well, I'm 70, I'm 80, I'm 90, so I know the way. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you want to know the way, Jesus said, learn of me. Learn of me. Don't look at your age. Look at what the scripture says. I said they should speak. Listen at this. Now in Job chapter 32 and we're at verse 7. The Bible said. I said they, I said, they should speak. They should, should speak. And multitude of years. And a multitude of years. Should teach should. wisdom. Should. Should. Should teach wisdom. Not that it does. That's right. But it should should teach wisdom. Teach wisdom. But there is a spirit in man. What? But there is a spirit in man. Oh, red tag. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm looking at. That's what you're looking at. I'm looking for the spirit in man. That's in man. And the inspiration of and the, the Almighty. Inspiration of the Almighty. Of who? Of the Almighty. What does it do, sir? Give it them understanding. Hallelujah. Oh, that's, God. that's it. Hallelujah. I want God's inspiration. That's right. Was that God telling me your title, how long you've been pastoring, how many members you have? I don't care nothing about that. No. What I'm interested in is the spirit. Spirit in man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's it. Spirit in man. That's in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty. That's what I want. That's it. That spirit. That's spirit. That's in man. That's it. That inspires man. That's right. Glory to God. That spirit that's in man will inspire him. That's right. It gives him the inspiration of the Almighty. Of the Almighty. Almighty. I'd rather be inspired by him heaven to be inspired by college oh yes huh? that's why I, I don't have no confidence in no cemetery school <laughs> no no oh no cemetery school will lead you away from God that's right that's why a lot of men cannot see 
the things of the spirit because right. you're too wrapped up in tradition. Well, after that, in the wisdom of God, the customs of men will make you blind to Holy Ghost tradition. That's right. All right, tell me what you have. First Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-one says what? For after that, in the wisdom of God, after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom, who is it? Knew, the, the world, the world by wisdom, by wisdom, knew not God. That's my argument. That's it. Hallelujah. Many of you out there, hear me good, worshiping, clapping, singing, shouting. Shouting. Talking about my, the my theological approach to things. <laughs> That's right. My Greek and my Hebrew and my Latin approach to things. That's right. Somebody told me that the Greek will give you the original translation. No, the spirit of God to give you the, the original translation. That's right. Amen. That's right. You know, many men sometimes when I debate them, they want to quote Greek mm. and quote, uh, quote Latin and quote all that stuff. Listen, I wouldn't care if you quote every language in the world. For the Jews require a sign. And I'm going back to the author of languages. <laughs> That's right. And get his interpretation. That's it. You hear what the word of God says. First Corinthians chapter 1, now we're at verse 22. What is it? For the Jews require a sign. The Jews require a sign. And the Greeks, the Greeks seek after wisdom. They seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. What do we lean on? But we preach Christ crucified. We preach Christ crucified. Crucified. Unto the Jews a stumbling block. Unto the Jews is a stumbling block. And unto the Greeks unto the Greeks foolishness is foolishness. But unto them which are called unto them that are called both Jews and Greeks. Both Jews and Greeks. Christ the power of God. Christ the power of God. And the wisdom of and God. And the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God. Did you see this? Hallelujah. This is why I don't look at other translation and then come out and say oh well I get that translation and now I understand man. I don't pay that no mind. No. I'm relying on the spirit that's in man. In man. Because the foolishness of God. Because the foolishness of God is, is wiser than men. Wait a minute. That's something. And there is no foolishness in God. <laughs> that's right. Think of that. Think of that. Stop. Give chapter and verse for this. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 25. Hear me viewers. Hear me good. Because the foolishness of God. The foolishness. Of God. Of God. Is wiser than men. Can you figure that out? Can you figure that out? <laughs> viewers. Can you figure that out? That's right. Can you listen? Can you understand God foolishness? God foolish. And there's no foolishness in him? <laughs> That's right. What is God foolishness, Pastor Jennings? The preaching of the cross. That's right. Is to them that perish foolishness. Foolishness. Because man is not able no. to understand the wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. He is quick to call God wisdom foolishness. Foolishness. So therefore, from his perspective, mm -hmm. when man come along divinely inspired and said God is one, mm -hmm. after he read Jesus down in Jordan, a dove land upon him. A voice speak from heaven saying, this is my beloved son to whom I'm well pleased. Right. Right then, the foolishness, foolishness of God of that God. took place in Jordan <laughs> right. makes man say, well, Jesus, one, dove, two, voice, three. Voice three. <laughs> but yet the foolishness of God say, hero Israel, the Lord our God is one. Is one. So the foolishness of God is, is wise. wiser, wiser than men, wiser, smarter than men, than men. And the weakness of God. Wait a minute. Huh. Well, look at here. Look at here. <laughs> look at it. Look how beautiful it sounds. And the weakness of God. God weakness is stronger than men. And yet there's no weakness in him. That's right. He's the almighty. The almighty. No weakness. No. But he want to show man how dumb you are. <laughs> that, that's right. Until his weakness is stronger that he than doesn't men. even have is stronger than men. Stronger than you. Stronger. Stronger than you. You come along with your weak understanding and say the earth is <laughs> 93 million miles away from the sun and the earth spin on axles. Hmm. Bible said he hung the earth on nothing. On nothing. Hmm? That's right. Bible don't say how far the earth is from the sun. And me personally, I don't care. <laughs> That's right. I just know that heaven and earth is going to pass away. That's right. 
Amen. And the works therein. The works therein. Amen. I don't try to figure out that type of foolishness. No. Give me God wisdom. You see, the church from the Lord Jesus Christ, we are full of God foolishness. That's right. And we function. Hear what I'm about to say now. Hear what I'm about to say. We function by the weakness of God. That's right. That's what right. do you think of that? What do you think of that? We preach heavenly foolishness. <laughs> That's right. And we function Go ahead. by God's weakness. But God has chosen the Glory foolish things of the world. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 27. Hallelujah. What is that? But God has chosen the foolish Who chose that? God has chosen. Hallelujah. 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 God has chosen. The foolish things of the world. That's how the church fucks. That's right. God chose the foolish things of the world. To confound the wise. Make you wise folk look stupid. And God has chosen the weak things of the world. He chose the weak things of the world. To confound the things which are mighty. Look at here. God come along and get a preacher. That's right. Hallelujah. Get uh, a man you. with no Bible degree at all. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. Make him a preacher. Make him a. Can't speak no foreign languages. That's right. Don't have no DD degree. That's right. No PhD. No. Never been to Bible college at all. Yes. Get him from the hood. That's right. Glory. Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. Go right to the hood. That's right. Go right to the ghetto. That's right. Go ahead, take God and stop by his house and make him a preacher. That's right. And then let him upset the world. That's right. By preaching God foolishness. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care what Bible degree you have or what college you've been to. We are take the Bible and stop any cemetery school preacher mouth in the world. That's right. Don't care. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. To confound the world. Amen. You, you're looking at a preaching fool. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's what I am. That's what you are. I'm a preaching fool. We are fools for Christ's sake. I, I have a lot of foolish ministers here. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. The first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have a bunch of foolish bunch. ministers. That's right. That's all I want. That's it. I, I don't want no wise ministers. Oh, no, no. I want all foolish, foolish. ministers. That's right. That's right. Think of that, viewers. Think of that. We want foolish ministers. That's right. That's filled with the weakness of God. That's right. Yeah. That's Hallelujah. right. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. God has chosen the foolish give, give, thing give of the chapter world. and verse again, Williams. First Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-seven. You see how backward this sound? That's right. All right. God has chosen the foolish God. things of the world. Have chose the foolish things of the world. The foolish things of the world to confound the world. I want him a fool for Christ. You better give me that. First Corinthians chapter four and verse ten. First Corinthians chapter four and verse ten. We are fools. We are fools for Christ's sake. Yeah, that's right. What? We are fools for Christ's sake. Hallelujah! I, I, I'm a I'm a fool <laughs> to preach. There's one God. Hallelujah! I'm a fool to tell the world. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is God. We are fools. I'm a fool. For Christ's sake. Tell the, hallelujah. Let's tell the world you must repent. Go ahead. And be baptized, Go every ahead. one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a fool to we preach that. We are fools for Christ's sake. I'm a fool to tell the world there's one church. That's right. Out of all these churches in the world, That's there's right. one church. That's right. Started by one. Don't take up. By one God. We are fools. We are fools. How do we we are food for Christ's sake. Holy God Hallelujah. for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. Huh? Go ahead. Man. Amen. That's what we are. Oh, yeah. Fool. Amen. So we, when we see, we see these folk speaking in tongue and going down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ, like some folk comment over the air. Why, why they move like that? That's a bunch of fools carrying on. That's right. Huh? That's right. Well, hallelujah. Take off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Holy to God. 
That's right. Fool us. We're fools. For Christ's sake. Oh, thank God. That's right. We are foolish. Fools for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. But you are wise in Christ. We, we, we just don't have no dignified Holy Ghost. <laughs> that's right. No proper spirit. Uh. Proper. <laughs> Uh, that's out the devil. That, that's right. That's out of hell. That's right. We are fools. We believe in heaven it like they had it on the day of Pentecost. Go ahead. Because the Lord said it's not another. Not another. What did he say? We are fools for Christ's sake. We are fools. Fools. Even when you are fool for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake. Uh, when the Holy Ghost come on you, your very foolish right. acting That's right. will be coincide with the Bible. That's right. Eh? That's right. You know, when you start to act outside of the Bible, now you are a different fool. Right. But when you act according to the Bible, That's right. only then you are fool for Christ. For Christ's sake. Oh, God. That's right. What do you say, son? We are fools for Christ's sake, uh -huh. but ye are wise in Christ. What? But ye are wise in Christ. We are wise in Christ. We are weak. We are weak. But ye are strong. Ye are strong. Ye are honorable. We are honorable. But we are despised. We are despised. Even unto this present hour, uh -huh. we both hunger and thirst. We both hunger and thirst. And are naked and are buffeted. And All right, that's enough. Go back to where you are, son. We'll go back to 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 1 and verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to come. Now I want you to while. get this, viewers. Right. When they tell you you got to go to Bible college to be a preacher, the God of heaven speaks plain. God hath chosen the foolish things of the world. God hath chosen the foolish things of this world. To confound the wise. English may be broken, mm -hmm. but it's plain. plain. Paul said, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. That's right. God preacher, don't use words that you need Google <laughs> to look it up. And my speech and my preaching. Very plain. That's Hear right. this. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4. I had some thought they was insulting me. Mm-hmm. But saying, look at the way he talked. He used is when he should use are, and he used are when he should use is. All right. Uh, all right. That's all you right. is going to hell. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> if, the, if that.